Arizona in Evanston screen, eight person tent, 15 by 12. Just got her put up, everything done. As you can see, everything's on there. Got the rain fly up, everything pulled down. Do a little front mat on down there. I've seen that it's probably a good thing to put the mat just like that right there, just right over the, uh, right over all your hardware. So that if you do step on it, you don't step on your zipper and stuff. Uh, put the tarp under the tent as a footprint, you know. But uh, it also came in this screened in front porch. It's got this nice little gutter system going on down here. So when the water comes in, which it's going to probably come in about two foot inside this room. So when it does come in, drain right on down. And if you keep everything pulled tight, it'll make that floor nice and tight. So when the rain comes in, like right in here, it's raised up. So it's kind of raised up right there so the rain will come straight down. So anywhere down in here where it's gonna hit, it'll drain straight on down, come right into that little screened in mesh gutter that runs all the way across the front, run right into the ground and should be pretty decent. It's not gonna be completely not wet, but hey, at least it won't be puddling up on you and creating chaos in there, but anyway, uh, so far we love it. We've got these nice little awnings over the window. They come out maybe a foot and a half to the outside right here. So you can have your screen down and everything else. Probably take this screen right here and pull it up maybe about, I don't know, seven, eight inches or whatever. This right here will keep the rain from coming in there. And you can still have a nice breeze coming in. It's pretty cool. course come around the back here and you've got this where it's pulled out right here with the sky wire and um, then you've got all this ventilation in the back this whole entire back is screened every bit of it so getting ventilation through this tent is absolutely not a problem you know this is definitely a great summer tent these windows and then this big screened in porch like I said, if you can't get good ventilation, something's wrong because this thing right here definitely covers the ventilation issue. Um, like I said, with the sides pulled tight like that, it added about another foot. With these sides pulled out, it added another foot pulled out right there that it pulled these nice and tight keeps these from moving keeps all this stuff where it needs to be gave us a little more room it pulled up the headroom a little bit everything pulled up nice so uh, you know you set your little chair down in this corner and then you've got all this area to sit in and enjoy I think that's really cool really cool my wife loves this tent, but like I said, yeah, the water runs down right into that little drain system. That's pretty smart, whoever added that in. Okay, let's walk in here. Okay, and of course in here, you drop a couple queen blow-up mattresses in here. Side by side, you'll still have, you know, maybe a couple feet right here if you did that uh, we're just gonna probably throw a couple of twins in here or mats or whatever it's just me and her we're gonna jump on the Harleys and hit the Blue Ridge <laughs> this year she want to be comfortable and have some room so doesn't get any better than this nice and easy to set up took us maybe 10 minutes you know you got two poles two poles that pop up no problem as soon as you pop them up you're basically up then you pop the front porch uh, rod all the way across pull that out everything else is just pulling it down tight and then putting the rain fly on and man you're done um, this right here is pretty cool they don't tell you this either um, you just got this little toggle right here 
you hook it up in this little eye. Let's see if I can do this. And then bloop. So now you don't even have to roll the door up. If you want the door open, you just put it in that little toggle right there. That's what it's for. Hold the door open. Now you can go in and out and everything else. You don't have to roll the door up every time. You know, they can get the door out of my way. Well, you know, there you go. So you can pull the door up out of the way. You ain't got to do nothing with anything else. It's all done. Everything's still screened through, so you're still getting all your ventilation. And you can leave this door open, and everything else is screened off, so you're still screened in. So, boom, you're ready. But uh, anyway, yeah, like I was talking about, the ventilation in this thing is absolutely amazing. And I love the fact that it's low to the floor. So when you're laying on your maybe a if you had a queen double i would say you are in the prime uh breeze zone there i guess you'd call it because uh you know you'd have your double would probably sit about like right here and then so you're probably probably about a maybe six inches to a foot lower than this right here or whatever so you get a nice cross breeze all night long you know the windows aren't all up in the air up here and everything you got the breeze down here where you are where you would need it to be and then you know maybe hook your little fan up here to this little toggle up here at the top hook your fan up there and keep the air blowing down on top of you I mean yeah that's what I'm talking about but uh yeah that's that Coleman Evanston 8 first intent and um, I've heard a or watched a lot of different reviews on this tent and none of them really gave me the um, all the ins and out of this tent. They just pretty much just set it up in the yard and um, go with it from there, which is cool. It still gives you an idea, you know. But um, if you actually take the time to set it up and uh, definitely do little things like run your guy wire through this right here on the screened in front porch. I mean, look at that. yeah worked out perfect then uh everything pulls down right everything works together you know take both of your guy wires pull them straight down follow the lines of the tent all the way down simple just follow it follow it down on on all corners all the way around and um it will literally pull itself together that was nice Like I said, took me and my wife about 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, I would highly recommend this tent. Very good tent. Works out great for us. She loves it. Keeps her happy. Keep everything in the front porch right there. So, you know, you wipe your feet off down here and everything else, wipe your boots off or whatever outside right down in here. And then go inside, take your boots off, take your gear off and everything else, drop them in here, and then go right on in the tent. Hey, that's worth it if you ask me just for doing that right there. And uh, be able to come out here and sit down with the bugs trying to get you or whatever's happening. Hey, you got somewhere to go. You still chill and you can still be outside, still enjoy everything. And uh, I mean, Wow, wake up in the morning, you got these two great big windows open and see through this big gigantic window right here and everything else and see out like when we hit uh, the Blue Ridge Parkways, we're going to be, you know, this baby's going to be aimed at the mountain. So when we wake up in the morning, the view out of the front of this is going to be absolutely amazing. So can't wait. It's going to be a nice ride. Good times. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching my video, man. This is uh, Robbie Rob going to sign out for the Coleman, Coleman Evanston 8 person tent, 15 by 12. Highly recommend this tent. If you want the room and you want the comfort, this is the one right here. You want a nice cool breeze blowing over you? Get this one. This will definitely keep it on you.